see these touch horses for us last dog again. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys how I get a horse ready to do box work. So again, I got a new bit in Darla's mouth. The pressure's touching a little different. So she's kind of fighting it a little bit. Uh, but she's gonna get used to it. Now again, I'm talking about talking about making, not necessarily roping horses, but getting horses accustomed to doing what a person might do on a horse. Even though I don't think, darling, I wouldn't try to make a roping horse owner at 11 years old with all the bad habits and the uh, reteaching that I had to do. Uh, I wouldn't really try to make a roping horse out of her. I'd just give her a, a, a more simple job. Some pleasure riding, some uh, ranch show, you know. Uh, but before I even take a horse in the box, if I can't move my horse's body positions around, then I won't put, I won't start taking a horse in the box. So I'm moving Darla's body positions around. I just moved her back in one way, now I'm moving her back in the other way. Now I'm gonna move her whole body this way. Every time I move, Darla, jerks a little bit because she's used to somebody being so rough with her. And I got a lot of people thinking that I've done this. I'm not the one that's done this. I'm the one that's fixing this. I'm the one that's uh, changing this. This horse wasn't suitable. There's no way I could have put that young lady on this horse when I first started it. But now, And everything I can do with this horse, with these spurs, I can do without spurs. So in order to make a roping horse, your horse gotta be able to set in this box. shoot right there. So you want this horse, a calf horse, you want the, the head pointed at the butt. But if I need to position my horse, I can just touch my horse and move my horse over wherever I need to move my horse. Step my horse up, reset my horse. But I want her setting in this box. So when I come out of there, I'm coming out of there ready to rope. And I want that horse's head. Normally if she's cowing, she's gonna be reaching out for a cow anyway. But on young horses, ooh. I've never put any kind of martingale on Darling. I've never put any tie down on her or anything. I like to teach a horse to ride with less as possible. I want them to ride quietly and calmly. I'm sorry, I got a little close. I want them to ride quietly and calmly. So I'm gonna go in here and set Darling in this box. tries to get excited, but I'm not getting excited with her. I 
I'm not going to get excited with her. I'm going to keep her calm. See how she jerks and jumps around? When that rope come by her head? Turn her any way I want. This is where I want her to learn to relax at, right here. I want my roping horse to relax right here. That's how I'm coming out. We're getting out of that cow right there. We going to get him, baby. We going to get him, baby. Tell you what, this horse wouldn't be where she is today if it wasn't for OCT. You know, I got a lot of people watch some of my videos of me making this horse and they didn't understand what I was doing. I'm gonna take my boot off. Now, not only do I don't have spurs on, I don't have nothing on. And I'm gonna show you guys that I can ride this horse. I can do the same thing. I'm gonna move this horse away from the camera. Which is socks. I'm gonna put my rope down. I'm gonna back her up. I'm gonna move her back in. I'm gonna move her front in. Again. So people was talking about, oh, I never use spurs. You shouldn't use spurs on a horse. <clears throat> spurs are not made to punish. They're made to, you got some horses, you get a, you, you get a quicker reaction when you need them. But as you can tell, see, I don't need them no more. But I can still ride with them. And just because they're on my boot does not mean that I'm using the spur. I can take her and set her in this box barefooted. horses relax at right here in this box especially my rope horses if I'm not making a rope horse I don't really care about it but my rope horses I want them to relax right here I think it's about time for me a new pair of boots what do you think uh oh poor boy can't even afford a pair of nice boots tiny huh <laughs> All right, guys, CT with CT's Touch Horses Forward Slash Dogs. I make good horses. First of all, the horse got to have a good head about him. But if he got a good head about him, I can make him even better. Uh, the sorry ones, 
I can make look good. So I just wanted to show you guys this video of how much Darlin has progressed. I'm going to be putting Darlin up for sale here pretty quick. And uh, I guarantee you, she bring me what I asked. All right, Tiny, you can cut.